G'day viewers, Ivan here from Peak Off Road, Weller Park, Sydney, Australia, and welcome back to a, another review or a review of a very important piece of Australian manufacture, which is the Boss Aluminium RT1 Overland. Um, we here do a lot of tents, and um, it seems to be this, what we do at the moment uh, because there's not a lot of other products around. We do a few campers and all that. But as these campers, in this case, we've got the Patriot X1, uh, are getting a little bit older than the old tents that they have now, they're coming down to getting reviewed, changed, and moved on because the technology or the tents that they had in those days and initially have changed a lot now to where we are now in 2021. And in this case here, the guy is exceptionally happy with his setup and he wants to upgrade his one to an Australian made again um, Boss Overland RT1 Overland. So what I'm going to show you today is how it's mounted. So how it's mounted, why we configured it in reverse and the reasons for that and also how the awning goes and all that. But there's also going to be a full video on actually the Boss Aluminium RT1 and also the upgraded version, the RT1 Overland. So let's get started and I'll show you how we go from there. Well, you know, it's been a long day already and thank you to Artie for coming over and taking the video so you should go see him on uh, 4X Adventures. But first and foremost, right, with the Patriot X1, it's been around for a fair while and like I said before in the intro, we're going through and starting to renovate these ones. You know, things go wrong with them and they're getting used fairly hard. Now in this case, uh, the gentleman He's uh, opted to put his tent in reverse so he doesn't have a ladder. And the reason for this is very simply, and you watch me straight up, here's his tent. The operation on the, on the RT1 is very simple. Grab your bungee cord and uh, the small poles. in the second small poles. I should have grabbed my other glasses, my short, short stackers, and uh, you can't see a bloody thing. So you don't have to readjust the poles when you're done. It's, um, it's only a matter of um, putting them up and off you go. So the setup time you're talking here is, is fairly middle. Minimum. So again, if you see from here, the distance between here and the foot is about 700 millimetres. And it's nice and easy just to pop up into the tent. Now the gentleman owns this, he's, he's a fairly robust sort of fellow. And this is kind of the same height as a normal standard bed, about 700. The tent itself, we'll go through that in a minute. The tent itself is pretty, pretty cool. It's uh, 1450 wide, 2300 long, and it has the rails underneath going north-south. Now, it comes with a, a six, um, six brackets to fit it, and I'm gonna show you in a second now the Unistrut bars and how they've done it here on the street. So come on, follow me down here. Right, as you can see down here, the original um, attachments for the X1 was this little uh, extrusion, protrusion that goes on the top. And what we've done is we've just used a half uni strut, which actually bolted to the original bolt holes there. Very simple. They're 1500 long. They go into the right mounting points. And it's just a matter of just putting the L bracket in and it's done. Um, in this case, the tent is at this level and the awning needs to be at this level. With the XT, they've got the uh, gas strut assisted awning which cannot be done. But just guys who are just interested in how an awning is fitted onto an X, um, onto a Boss Overland. You bolt that on there. And then you have the bracket goes this way and it's adjustable, see all these holes. It picks up an adjustment, so you've got heaps of adjustment or you can, let me do this around, turn it around and bring it down. This is one of the best brackets on the market. Now we do a lot of the tents, as you know, alley cab, blah, 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 blah. this gives you the most options. So you can go basically way up higher to way down lower. 
it's a fantastic sort of scenario. Again, going back to actually how it's hitting on this Patriot, you can see here the simplicity of it all. Now, it is ass about face, right? Are you? We're going to have to beep this out, are we? Mm, probably. Um, it is the wrong way around. It doesn't look too bad, and Artie will throw some photos in of the actual, um, when we finished and all set down again on how it looks. But the option, the option to have it no steps and walk straight in is pretty, pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now is I'll show you with the Boss Aluminium. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do photos because we're not doing a full review on the actual tent itself. That will be coming with a really long, probably 30 minute video on just the tents, exactly how it's all done. Today's thing is just to put down right here how it's made up. I'm gonna show you how the electrical connection goes now and we'll go to the front. Right, with the electrical connection, what we've got here, Boss Aluminium, have a, have a plug already done. Now these can be cut off, whatever, it's fully sealed inside and you can run it to wherever you need to do. Remember, this is not normally how it would go on a, on a 79 series or a 200 or something like that. So you have to actually bring this one back down or drill another hole down here, which Boss Aluminium won't like you to do, but that's how life is. Uh, for a solar panel on this, I have a solar panel prepared. Very simple. There you go. Sun power solar panel. Or you can run a glass panel up the top, and I'll just put this down. You can run a glass panel right up the top and you can use either uh, aluminium extrusion or bolt it straight to these uh, fully adjustable top rails. So every, every hole you see, so it can go right together to the full length, which is around about one metre-ish. Um, <clears throat> so the options here are fairly easy and the whole thing is robust. The guys at Patriot have done a great job with their trailers. They are a bit exy which is, you know, the way it is, if you want to buy anything good that's going to last. But they are getting old now and they are getting a little bit abused. And as, uh, like everything, you change your car, in this case the tent's been changed over to a nice new Boss Aluminium. All right, we'll finish up and I'll uh, see you shortly. Yes, I was going to finish up, but I'm not going to. The, the, sorry <laughs> for dragging you out. I wanted to show you one thing on the X1, which is pretty important. Um, the tent itself, uh, for the gap here, Artie, if you can just show the gap here, well, the, right? So you've got the gap. So this tent can be open and we're within a miss is a miss. And in this case, the, uh, the well-used well -used, um, Weber barbecue can come out and you can still leave your tent open. So we are gonna finish up now. Rightio guys, thank you for uh, listening to my dribble again. Um, it's been wonderful to have you guys around and have a look at this. This is one of the first tents uh, that goes on to a uh, Patriot trailer that we've actually shown. Well, it is the first one. Uh, this is coming more and more. We've been replacing on the toy haulers and on these trailers now for a fair while. And uh, as people are upgrading, they'll want to see something like this, a premium tent on a premium Australian product. And again, wait for the, um, uh, the um, what do you call it? <laughs> wait for the uh, full review of the Boss Alley RT1. We're just about ready to do that one now. Our signage is in, the tents are on display here at Wetherill Park. So you're welcome to come down and have a look. These tents have got power inside, very large mattress, uh, fully insulated and they're nice and wide and uh, you can pretty much stand up. I'm very close to standing up in it, but you'll see that in the next video. So thank you very much again, guys, for listening to my dribble and uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can see you again shortly. Thank you. Who are you guys? Cheers. Are we ready to go home, Adi? Oh my God. These take forever to do. This is the future, these things. Bungee. See, underneath, it helps you.
Karate chop. Little clippy thing. And we're out of here. Here we go, guys. <laughs>